are good men and women capable of bad and evil actions? I'm going to go deeper in on this question on this week's Tuesday Trees Philosophies, right about now. Well, welcome to this week's Tuesday Trees Philosophies. This is where I go in on some values, theories, principles, ideas, whatever. People always tell me I go too deep. Well, I go deeper, baby. Anyways, let's get into it. There's been a lot of commotion recently and a lot of revisionist history where we're going back in time, analyzing historical figures, and then coming to the judgment based on our current 21st century perspectives and beliefs that the people that we once held to be heroes and idols are were actually evil villains and tyrants and the statues representing those individuals should be taken down now i mean it, maybe there's some validity to this point are humans capable of horrible actions i mean you just have to look at the last hundred years and you can find the answer to that is 100 percent yes and i think that that outlines how complex human beings are that even if somebody might be uh, considered a good individual quote unquote they probably have some skeletons in their closet they probably have some things that they're not too um, fond of sharing you know great individuals in history are no notorious for this fact and you know whether it's looking at old American presidents such as uh, George Washington Abraham Lincoln or um, the Prime Minister of Great Britain during World War II Winston Churchill or Canada's first Prime Minister um, uh, Johnny McDonald uh, these people are all being called into question and a lot of it starts off from a legitimate place where we're looking at statues uh, representing evil individuals and we want to take them down you know an example is Saddam Hussein statue nobody's gonna argue that okay perfect but when we're looking at these other individuals in a democratic society we have to look at the whole person at large we have to be honest about who people are we have to be honest about what human nature is we cannot absolutely in no circumstance consider people to be 100 percent good or 100 percent evil so i go back to my question are good individuals are good people capable of evil things and the answer is of course yes so when we have these people that we look back and we say oh this person actually did this really evil thing therefore that negates the entire existence of that individual that's a very dishonest take on things because you're looking at things from a very narrow lens you have to look at the net benefit the overall good that that or evil that that person has pervaded onto the world and when you look at the all-encompassing actions of course there's going to be some higher in terms of okay that was a good moral thing to do some that are lower okay that was an evil thing to do and everybody is guilty of that we even can look at modern day um, individuals artists musicians that we stout to become and that we hold so high modern day uh, freaking musicians how many musicians have just uh you know like had crazy issues with f fame and drug abuse and all that stuff and uh, assault and yet we still prop up these celebrities why because we try to separate their art from the individual right like horrible people horrible artists can sometimes make great art it's a fact and if we look at modern times we often uh, promote these individuals we look towards musicians talking about certain things that are maybe illegal or whatever and hey that's fine as long as they're making great music right let's be honest so we have to understand that still that may be a good person but they maybe are talking about some evil things and they have some evil skeletons in their closet i mean same thing can be applied to uh, an evil individual is an evil individual capable of good well i think the answer to that is yes again evil people can commit acts of good but does that negate the fact that person is evil no it does not so when we look at people and we understand the whole encompassing attributes the whole it's it's a body of work you have to look at somebody's body of work right so if you look at somebody like hitler just because he was maybe vegetarian or something like that 
doesn't negate his evil right that's a clearly evil individual just because he might have one or two acts of good from the overall um, life the overall body of work we can unequivocally say that that is an evil individual similarly when we look at good men and women in history they were also flawed when we look at even people like Mahatma Gandhi he is known as the leader of India out of the hands of British um, persecution and yet he also has a history of um, apparently maybe he wasn't the best with women he didn't treat women the best now are we gonna take down all the Mahatma Gandhi statues because he had incidents where he didn't treat women uh, in 100% the manner or can we acknowledge the fact that people are flawed they make mistakes and we need to just understand that that is a reality of human nature and to hold them to some sort of standard as though, oh, you have to do everything 100% A-OK, -okay, the right way. If not, then you are absolute trash and you deserve to be removed from history. We don't need to talk about you. We need to wipe you out. Uh, nothing that you have done of good is of any value and of any merit. Like It's such a childish approach. It's such a one-dimensional approach and tries to look at humans as though they can be shaped into some sort of morally virtuous creatures but meanwhile doesn't take into consideration that humans are fundamentally flawed that's part of being a human baby is, is that we're flawed so if you're trying to look for some sort of perfection in any individual that's that's simply not going to happen uh, i'm sorry so i go back to the original premise is uh, are good individuals capable of evil yes they are and there's plenty of examples of that in history where good men have and women have done evil actions but we need to understand that for what it is look back towards history appreciate the positive contributions that those people made right take the good and then say okay these things that this person also did they're not so good but hey you know what we're not celebrating this person on those negative things we're celebrating that person for the overall value and the overall contribution that they've put uh, towards this planet and it's you know, uh, there, there's so many examples of that you know, like where people make mistakes at a young age and then they grow up and then they change their ways and then if we look to look back at what they did at a certain age and they made certain mistakes does that mean that they have not repented for their sins if they've paid the time the money and the, re the retributions for their sins for their actions i mean uh, people commit sins all the time that doesn't mean that they were evil at large so I think we need to be honest about history. I think we need to be honest about people in history and we can't, for the people that are ignoring the contextualization of history and saying that that is bogus and we need to look at things from some sort of absolutist uh, depiction of reality, but then they themselves are no longer in an absolute framework when you look at their own actions. They then go towards relativism, moral relativism, which is in a whole other issue that I'll get to in another video. Um, I think we need to be uh, honest that people are capable of evil good people are capable of evil and when we try to say oh no we're holding uh, people 200 years ago to the same standards of 21st century living i'm sorry but that's it just makes no sense it makes absolutely no sense we have to take into account the time period in which people lived we have to take into account the uh, circumstances that they grew up in and we have to also look at the actions and everything like it's such a complex issue and just again to uh, break it down like oh this person did one bad thing therefore that negates their entire existence their entire giving of good no no that's that's not um, how how this works so let me know your thoughts. Are good men and women capable of evil? Are evil people capable of good? Um, let me know what you think in the comments. And I think this is an important discussion to have, guys, because we are having a really, um, it's almost scary revisionist history that's taking place where we're looking back in history, taking down everything and every individual that did one or two things that people didn't agree with. And they might have been bad. They might have been not so bad. But we have to 
look at things from a more nuanced point of view and be honest about what history has taught us. So let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, please share this video because I think it's important for people to have this discussion and understand history from a, um, from, from a more nuanced lens and not just be black and white. Um, black and like that's never the the solution to a, any problem where it's a yay or nay and we need to understand history from um, different perspectives and to absolutely negate the good that people have done because of uh, a few sins that that makes no sense so um, we need to stop we need to face history we need to face the evils that people have done and the, and the good that they've done take the good remove the bad, you know, and then keep on keeping on. Anyways, that was this week's Tuesday Cheese Philosophies. Um, I'll catch you guys next Tuesday, and uh, peace.